So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is a what so video on eBay. That's right. It's a what so video on eBay where we go over all my eBay orders and we talk about exactly what got sold. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hold on. Would you like to win this game? You can win this game. All you got to do is listen to the instructions somewhere in this video and you can win this game. Every what's so video, I give away a prize and this will be the prize. So if you want to win, stay tuned. Like I said, this is what's so video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Dante. Welcome to the channel. I pretty much just like literally tell you guys what I sell on a regular basis. Every so often I make these what's so videos. So you guys get an idea of the times that I go sourcing. And if you watch those videos, you'll see a lot of these items in those videos so now you're like okay they sold and kind of, sometimes i'll tell you like the duration of some of these items of when they got sold like some of these items they sold pretty much immediately some of them have been sitting for a while so without further ado let's talk about exactly what got sold and i said that like seven i always say that like 19 times i don't know why it's just i think i like saying what got sold because sales baby profits profits Immortals profits. Y'all know what time it is. Okay, let's go. And the first item that we're gonna have sold is gonna be this Think Gizmo Steam Engineering toy train or truck or whatever it's supposed to be. It sold for 20 bucks. The buyer did pay $10.99 to get it shipped to him. I found this item at a bin store on their dollar day and it shot me. It was there on their dollar day. There was a few of them there on their like a $6 day and then a dollar day came and they had like one or two more in the bins. I think I grabbed two of them. I think I sold one locally maybe or something like that. I know I had two of them. One's gone and then I have one left and this one sold for 20 bucks. Buyer paid $10.99 to get it shipped. And this is one of those items that I thought probably never would sell. So I grabbed, I mean, but I grabbed it anyway. Again, I only had a dollar into it. It's been sitting for probably a good four months. But again, I mean, I only had a dollar into it. The next item that sold is going to be this Kenneth Cole bag. Remember, I got this bag for three bucks at the 127 yard sales or whatever they were. <laughs> when I went to a thousand yard sales. Y'all remember that. And this bag, well, um, that lady, she also sold me some Jordans that day which haven't sold, I don't think. No, I don't, they haven't sold yet. But this bag sold, and it sold for $27.20, and the buyer paid $4.99 to get it shipped to him. And like I said, I paid $3 for it. I mean, you can't beat that. that the 127 something yard sales were only like a few weeks ago, so that's how quick it sold. And no, turn that $3 into over 20 after, prop, after, yeah, after fees and everything. You can't beat that. The next item we're going to have sold is going to be this John Wayne 2 Ultimate Collector's Collection Edition. This item sold for $35 and the buyer paid $3.82 to get it shipped to them. Shout out to Media Mail. But um, yeah, I found this item in Colorado when I stopped. I made like a pit stop at a thrift store and I found this. I want to say I paid like $4.50 for it. Uh, when I initially saw it, I think I was trying to sell it for like $55. Bucks. It's been sitting for a hot minute now. So... I decided to go ahead and just drop the price to like 35 bucks and it sold probably like two days later. So yeah, nice little $20 discount for somebody. Although I was probably asking a little bit too much for it anyway, but I do that sometimes and sometimes items sell, sometimes they don't. But anyways, dropped the price 20 bucks and it sold for $35. The buyer paid $3.82 to get it shipped, which I've said already, I'm sorry. And we know we made well over $28 and some change on that item. The next item that we're going to have sold is going to be some items that I regret buying. I bought three of these Conair straighteners for $5 a piece, which means I have $5 into this item. Uh, they were only selling for like around $18 or so. This is when I try to take a chance when I was really charging free shipping on a lot of items. And then I saw that, oh man, if I really charge free shipping, I would only make nothing. So this is when I really discovered, start putting more shipping on a lot more of my items and just dropping the price and things of that nature. That's when I really started doing that because of this item right here. But I was still stubborn with this item because I had dropped the price and still it wouldn't get sold. I only got $5 into it, but after I dropped the price like 15, wouldn't sell. Still trying to make the buyer pay shipping. That's, that's probably the problem because somebody can go buy one for literally the price of mine and get a better deal. So, um, yeah, I'm surprised mine still so because somebody paid $13 and that $11 and 80 something cents to get it shipped. So, you know, 
Two of them have finally sold. I think one sold the other week for a little bit more than this. But again, I only have $5 into it. Thank God I made my $5 back. That's what I was more concerned about than anything. I thought they were just going to be losses. I mean, which is okay. It's only $5. But at the same time, you really don't want a loss. I'd rather double my money than have a loss. And that's what happened. I ended up doubling my money at least after fees. But yeah, the next item they're going to have sold is this Kitty Hawk model. Y'all remember this? I got this at the Ben store here locally for one dollar i got it for a dollar and when i found it i was amazed because i saw comps for like a hundred um i was trying to sell mine for 111 dollars and again the other week i went through and just dropped a lot of my prices i do that every so often because you know i don't like items just to sit and sometimes again my profit margins are decent enough where i can drop my prices significantly and sometimes i do that so i think i dropped this to like 90 bucks maybe 99.99 and then somebody sent me an offer of 70. And I was like, you know what? I only have a dollar into this item. It hasn't been sitting too long, but I only have a dollar into this item. I can take that 60 plus dollars profit, you know? So why not? And they paid $9.10 to get it shipped to them. Why not? I'll take that all day. But yeah, that, that model, it, it was shocking when I found it. It was just literally sitting in the bins all weekend. I had literally touched it on $6 day. I looked at it on the $6 day and was like, eh, nah. And I put it back. And then on that dollar day, I found it and actually looked up comps some more. And when I really took a deep dive into checking comps, I found it. But that's when I checked comps on Google. Initially, I was just looking for this item just on eBay and I couldn't find it. But then when I typed it into Google, Google found it for me. It found it on eBay and then I found how comps were from that method. Hopefully that made sense. The next item that we're going to have sold is going to be this lawn and garden submersible, submersible utility pump. It sold for 40 bucks and the buyer paid $35.20 to get it shipped to him. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. I got this item on a few weeks ago when I went to that new Ben store that I've never been to, Ben's To Go. So yeah, shout out to Ben's To Go for having the item. I think this was the first item that I found in that store too. The very first item that I picked up in that store. And it's the very first item to sell for me. So that's what's up. So for 40 bucks, I only paid what their day is either five or six dollar day. It was a restock day. So I don't know if it's five or six dollars. That was my first time going. So we'll just say I'm going to profit well over probably 30 bucks on this item when it's all said and done after fees and everything. So you can't beat that. Shout out to Ben's to go. I remember I was skeptical about that place. <laughs> and then right here, we have this sports iron flask, this water bottle. I want to say I grabbed it recently at the bin store and I paid $7 for it. Um, it only sold for $25. The buyer did pay $14.65 to get it shipped. So, you know, still nice. We still made over 300% on our money, which is really, really nice for me. Um, so yeah, when it's all said and done, that nice little $15 profit or so. Or actually, it's gonna be like a $12 profit, I'm sorry. And then finally, we sold this rock band Guitar Hero, and I threw in two games with it for $53.94, and the buyer paid $27.90 to get it shipped to them. You can't beat that. I walked into this random Goodwill one day, and this guitar was sitting on the shelf without a price. Walked up to the counter and was like, I just want to know how much is this? And they was like, well, if I don't have a price on it, we'll call it a toy and just give me a dollar. Gave them a dollar, walked out the store, and I think somebody had recently just posted this exact guitar on their Instagram page. So when I found it, I immediately was like, hey, I found one too. And anyways, it's over $53.94. I went ahead and add these two games to it just to spice it up. I think I got these games pretty much for free, to be honest. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's that's it. That's all the items that we have sold today. And thank you so much for bearing with me through this what's sold video. Um, got a lot going on, but it's going to be okay because right here, we're about to do this giveaway. This party heads game is basically for children. I mean, obviously, if you have a child, you know, it could be a nice little Christmas present for them or if they have a birthday present or something like that coming up. But Christmas is coming up and I'll probably start doing like a lot of giveaways of that. Just like a bunch of random box sealed items or gift cards or just stuff like that on my What's Up Soul videos because Christmas is coming up. But anyways, yeah, with all that being said, I really don't like Christmas. Just being 100, I really don't care about Christmas, but in the spirit of giving, and I know that's what the world celebrates, I mean, I'll join in a little bit. But yeah, so if you want to win this little Party Heads game, all you have to do in the comment section is say, Tay, I want the Party Heads game. That's it. That's it. 
And you got to spell it correctly, too. Look how it's spelled. Look. Spell it correctly. <laughs> That's the only warning you get. Party heads. But anyway, so they say, Tay, I want the game, and you get it. And you got to spell the game correctly. Tay, I want party heads. That's simple. And I'll send this to one of you guys. Yeah, anyways, that's it. This video's over with. Yeah, it's over with. Feels right. Feels right. Feels like I'm done. Am I? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it's over with. Anyways, why do y'all watch me? <laughs> I just be tripping sometimes. But anyways, yeah, hopefully you guys, you get some motivation out of just seeing things sell. I mean, oh, here we go, rant time. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know what I was going to rant about. But so I remember when I before I started really getting to reselling, I used to watch videos and seeing people making these sales. And I was like, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But then once you actually get off the couch and start doing it, or, you know, you make the time maybe once a week or maybe two or three hours a week to just to start doing it. And you can realize, you know, what you can make off of it just by doing it like 10 hours a week, man, it's fun. Like it's fun when I don't sell listing sucks. Don't get me wrong, but you know, that's why I like listing quick items. You can take quick pictures of all the stuff. Majority of the things that I sell have barcodes. Take a picture of that barcode. Y'all notice that, right? But um, I don't know. Nice little rant. But uh, yeah. So get up there, get out, and hopefully this is motivation for you guys to go get these profits. Think about it. I turned $1 into $70. After fees and everything, it's like 62 and some change. I turned a dollar into 60 something bucks. Like, yeah, just small examples. And this all got all this stuff at different points of time. Like some stuff has been a month. Yeah, some stuff has gone quickly. It's been a week, two weeks. Uh, but that's just how it goes. If you're sourcing two or three times a week and putting good effort into that sourcing, you're going to find items and you're going to have those sporadic sales that all bundle up eventually, especially after you've been doing it for a while. I don't know. Nice little ramble. Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is...